G'day folks, I'm Fred. Welcome to the Traders Outpost. This little video will show you where to get data if you're using MT5. The easiest place to start is to open up your MT5 platform and you can see on screen we have that. You then open the Symbols tab which is available in the menu selection. That brings you to a Symbols page where you can make a selection of whichever currency you're interested in. Forex, miners, crosses, etc. For this exercise we're going to be opening up the Euro USD. Clicking on the Euro USD and we want to get the bars information. So we click on the bars tab. Here we can download data of all different types, but we're looking to grab the daily data. So what we've done here is we've set the euro for daily and we're going to download data from 2010 through to present day. We request that information. It comes down in the form of information per bar. You can see here we've got 2,500 bars of information. And we're now going to export that into a HTML file for use within Excel. When you click on export, you have the option here of downloading either into a CSV file or a HTM file. Uh, our preference is for HTM and if you want to experiment you can see why. Save this data and uh, we can move on. Closing that off, we then look to an indicator that we've created which is the ATS data collector which provides some additional information for use on our spreadsheet. Click on that, drag it onto your chart and then we'll have information around this particular instrument which is useful in our spreadsheet. So opening up our spreadsheet once again, we then grab the instrument data from below and import it into our MT5 data tab. So the instrument we're looking for is the Euro. Our base currency is in this case AUD, which is an indication that our platform is running in Australian dollars. The buy sell spread, in this case two pips, two ticks. Commission, depending on your brokerage this could be zero or any other number. We happen to know that Pepperstone charges seven dollars, so it's a seven dollar round trip. Time frame is daily. Our tick value comes from our indicator. Our tick value here. Manually import that into your spreadsheet, 1.43817. Our tick size 0 0.00001. Long swap minus $15.36 per long lot traded. Pepstone brokerage, contract size, minimum lot size, etc. Short swap in this case pays us $8.93. And we've now imported everything we need into our spreadsheet except the daily data. So we grab the information that we've downloaded previously. We can see here we have a date range, open, high, low, close. Because we're using a daily time frame, there is no time column. So it's important to note here that in our spreadsheet of our template, we have a date, time, open, high, low, close, etc. So we need to work our way through that and initially only pick the daily time frame. So grab the time information, copy and paste into our spreadsheet. We can ignore the time column. We now need to grab the open, high, low, close. Coming back to our data source, grab that information and copy it Control C into our spreadsheet and we've now imported all the data we need for use with it within this particular template. Having done that we want to just confirm that our input sheet has seen this data you can see our data source on our previous test run was a Yahoo data source. We're now going to MT5. Having clicked MT5, the template updates automatically to bring us the Euro and all the information we've inserted previously. 
once we've done that, we now have enough information to start trying various options within this template. So cheers guys, and remember, there's gold in them there hills.